Hello, in this short uh, video presentation I will try to introduce the Avaya EasyQuote. EasyQuote is online configurator for Avaya IP office and we can access to it via partner portal. After accessing the Avaya partner portal we need to create a shortcut to EasyQuote. First go to my link section and add links, enter the name, address www.avaya.com slash easy quote, save and close. The new created shortcut link appears and we can access to easy quote. First, we need to create proposal. Enter the name of the proposal. Click Apply Changes and go to the Configurator button. There is a couple of pre configured configurations, but in the most cases, we choose the MT1 configuration, check the IP office and configure. Now we are entered in the EasyQuote configurator. There is uh, several tabs. In the first one, customer needs, we enter the number of the trunks, number of the users, IP office edition. In the second one, we enter the type and number of the phones. After that, we will see the in the solution details, we will see the configuration, type and number of the cards, enter the voicemail or voicemail pro uh, ports. And the last one is to select the option for the support services. OK. First, to enter the customer requirements, choose the country Romania, enter the location name if you like, company A, By default, it is release IP Office 8.1, but we have option to use the previous release 8.0. Since uh, from release 8.1 and higher, we have the option for support services, I suggest to use release 8.1. There are two IP Office system size. One is for SMB, which is the other name for the traditional IP Office 500 version 2 chassis, and the IP Office for mid market, which is the other name for the server edition. Since uh, we usually have digital phones and analog phones, we choose the SMB size. We have the two editions, uh, Basic Edition and Essential Edition. This basic Edition is for the uh, recommended configuration for the uh, limited number of the users for 100, up to 100 users, uh, only for analog and digital phones. And uh, with the limited functionalities, the uh, Basic Edition doesn't support uh, IP phones doesn't support more than 100 uh, users and doesn't support also the advanced profile, user profiles and uh, voicemail pro or call recording and etc. So in the most cases we choose essential edition. Telephone types 
Okay, uh, you have the options for IV phones or digital phones, but I usually choose this one option for to manually enter the type of the phones. User productivity suit. By default, we have basic users, but if we need some of the advanced features like uh, soft phones or need uh, support, let's just said for mobile uh, worker or support for the uh, advanced features for like customer service agents or supervisors, we have that options also. Or IP cell phones users only. Okay, for example, we enter 20 basic users and go to the next section, which is choosing the uh, preferred edition or advanced edition or stay on the essential edition. In every moment, uh, you can use these help buttons and read about that functionality. For example, uh, for an essential edition, we don't have support for the uh, teleworker, power user, and this is explained. If we need to connect uh, IP office to another IP office, or we configure uh, two IP offices at the same time, we have to choose the multi-site option. Multi-site option is in support in a basic edition. And the last section in this tab is to enter the uh, trunks to operate. We have digital trunks, PRI, BRI, or analog trunks, or IP trunks, SIP trunks. For example, we we using we will configure for twenty users. Let's like said five analog trunks. Just examine again the configuration and press apply changes. After we enter the customer requirements, we can configure phones. Hawaii IP office support IP phones, video phones, also digital phones, analog phones and wireless phones, of course. Okay, for example, uh, there is the new serial 9600 phones uh, with uh, additional button models uh, and local power supply. If you choose, for example, five of these phones and press, we will have the option to enter the uh, single port POE adapter for these phones. We will enter 5, for example, also, and for the rest 15 users, we will choose the basic phone types 15 and enter also the local power supply. The button for the LAN cords you don't have to uh, choose because the easy code automatically fill the total number of the cables for all phones, IP phones of course. There is the conference IP phones of course also and again we can choose the help button and read about this type of the phones.
Also, there is uh, IP video phones. 1010 and 1040 are supported on the IP office. We expect in the near future to see Rad Vision models also. Digital phones. There is 9500 serial and 1400 serial phones. Analog phones, uh, there is the conference phones. If you need uh, different phones, you can choose on the bottom of the this tab, analog ports and use Tenovis uh, analog phones. For wireless phones, there are two options. We have tact and we have 4600 phones, IP phones. To access to the configurator, configuration of the uh, radio base station, we first need to select uh, decked handsets, for example, five decked handsets and press apply or enter after we selecting the number of DEX phones we will have the options available to enter the basic chargers the number of the base stations there is a compact and standard radio base stations maximum of five compact stations and up to 45, 32 standard IP radio base stations. You can also enter the, for example, one compact station and the standard station. Power supply for the uh, base stations could be PoE switch or maybe uh, power supply for the radio base station and the last section is to enter the spare number of the ports we have two options digital ports and we have analog ports usually we use analog ports for fax machines for example we want to Analog ports pair, and after that, we press apply changes. After applying changes, we have configure number of the trunks and the number of and type of the phones. Now uh, we have the table summary table in which we will notice the total number of the users the total number of the phones and of course uh, the total number of the trunks and the vcm channels uh, analog telephone ports digital ports we didn't request it uh, digital telephone ports but uh, easy code uh, enter uh, the combo cards which includes digital ports the next tab is for solution details in which we can enter the uh, number of the voicemail ports since we have uh, 25 users it will be good to enter for example at least three voicemail ports uh, since we have to include it we need to enter one more ports in case uh, when we using preferred edition we will have options for voicemail pro contact store is using for browsing audio recordings this license comes by default in the advanced edition 
For computer telephony integration, we have CTI Link Pro license. And in the case when we have third party IP phones, we need to enter the desired number of the uh, third party phones. For via IP phones or BCM IP phones, this is the, uh, the option, of course, also. But uh, easy code for the Avaya IP phones automatically provide end user licenses. Multi site option uh, we are using in the case that we selected in the uh, customer requirements, we enter the multi site. VCM channels. Easy code calculates automatically the number of the suggested uh, VCM channels in case when we we can enter more than this number but usually it is enough just to keep it that suggested number application server this is a uh, active we will uh, in the preferred edition and advanced edition on the ip office mounting type rack mount wall mount standalone administration uh, and user cd and dvd or application server dvd are the next section and after that, we will have the user configuration uh, section in which we'll, we show the uh, we, we see the, the proposed configuration of the easy quote. For this configuration, easy quote suggested using just two analog combination cards which enable uh, 20 VCM channels and also 8 analog trunk ports 4 digital, 4 analog ports and 12 digital ports if for some reason uh, we want to change this configuration we need to select the user deselect user default configuration and we have the possibility to uh, manually enter the type of the cards base cards and also daughter board cards uh, I suggest using uh, default configuration uh, since the easy code uh, chooses the most uh, optimal configuration regarding the number of the slots and the slots and the number and the price of the solution. Apply changes. After that, we will go to the last step of our interest. It is IP Office Support Services. We have several sections. First is to choose uh, the type of delivery model. No coverage is if we don't want uh, service support. But uh, I strongly suggest the using of support services because they offer uh, remote support for software, hardware, also support uh, with the uh, minor releases and major releases of the software, patch of the software, updates and etc. And also remote uh, access of the support engineer. Code delivery um, 
model is for the certified Avaya partners. They need uh, at least one ACIS or ACSS certification for uh, IP office. In opposite uh, situation, uh, you need to choose wholesale model. Regarding support time, there is option for business uh, hours. It's uh, eight hours per uh, five working days or 24 hours, seven days a week. Part coverage, currently uh, in our region, including Romania, there is no advanced part replacement option. So we need to choose no coverage. And the last section is to choose the time of the contract. Uh, we have three options, one year, three years, five years. Uh, but in all three cases, the prepaid uh, option, a prepaid uh, billing interval is used. Now we configure the IP office support services. Check again the number of the users, ports, VCM channels. If we satisfied, we can uh, we can press the apply changes and uh, check the save to proposal. Also, we have the possibility to choose the bill of material. It's the list of the all hardware and software which is included in this configuration. Apply changes. If there is some errors or warnings, we will show that in the this part of the screen. Error zero, warnings zero, suggestion zero. It is okay and go to save to proposal. Now we finish configuration. We can see the list of the again of the all included hardware and software. If you need to change the quantity, we have the option of the design adjust. For example, we don't want to use the wire provided line cords and we enter here the 20 uh, exclude number of the cables. Press the apply changes. And we can notice that the price for the cables is zero. If you need some additional uh, part, we can use the option quick add. For example, we want to add the CD or DVD with uh, admin and uh, user. Okay, zero quantity is one, and then press add. And the admin and user DVD will appear in the list of material. If you want to share this configuration with, for example, someone else on, from the other company, you enter here the, in the supplier box, you enter the link ID of that company. After we finish the configuration, 
we going to the download section. In the left part, you enter the, your information on the sales representative. And in the right part, you can enter the, the information of the related to the customer. Company name, contact address, etc. All these informations uh, for sales and customer will appear in the proposal details of the bill of materials or in the customer proposal. First, uh, we, will, we need to download customer proposal in board doc file and after that we will download the uh, Excel document. Okay, save and also in the Excel. Okay, we can return to the configuration. If we need to change something else, we have we need to select design adjust and configure button. Also, all our proposals we have in the more proposals where we can list all our proposals. Also, we have a show, a show uh, uh, option, search option with different categories uh, proposal ID, proposal name, opportunity, status, etc. In the Excel download document, we will have all below materials, including hardware, software, we have prices, also on the, on the bottom you, we will have the selected support model and piece part at the end. Customer proposal is the full document which is automatically generated by EasyQuote but this uh, contact of this document is related to our configuration there is some general explanation about IP office and there is a summary of equipment and pricing please don't forget to change the prices also you need to change uh, the contact information if you didn't enter in the previous screen and there is a quite good explanation and descriptions of the IP office IP office manager system status application and the font types which we selected in the easy quote. IP telephony, deck telephony, marketing ma, via via, and some key facts about the via. Please just notice that this document is not quite updated it's for the 2010 and the DIY have some newer awards for the IP office and the partner of the products leading quadrant etc uh, there is new information which is not updated in this custom proposal so if we come to the end of this 
presentation. We configure the IP office, essential edition, and uh, also generate the bill of materials in Excel and custom proposal in Word. EasyCode is a quite good tool, very useful, but please bear in mind that EasyCode uh, is just a help tool. It's up to designer, it's up to you to know the all possible options of the IP office or, or limitations. So bear in mind and uh, that limitations and I wish you a good using of easy quote tool. Bye.